being heterosexual doesn't take you to heaven any more than being homosexual will take you to hell. Hi, Hi. I'm Nami. And I'm Michael, and welcome to Mike and Nami Plus. Today we have a question from Multi Fandom Is My Hobby. Can you guys talk about your opinions of having LGBT plus children? Like, what do you think of the situation, and would you accept your children if they came out as queer? I love you so much, by the way. Thank you, Multi Fandom. We mm. love you too. I think this was asked to us like a few times. Mm. And Michael thought it'd be interesting to talk about it. It'd be important to talk about it. Mm -mm. Well, the question is, like, what would I think of the situation, and would I accept my children mm. if they came out as queer? Or I think, of course, I would accept them. I know for sure I would first be feeling feeling of love and gratefulness mm -hmm. just for the fact that they They're were sharing. able yeah. to have the courage and openness and vulnerability to share that with mm -hmm. me and i think i would just hold them in my arms mm -hmm. it wouldn't bar me from showing compassion or yeah. love or respect in yeah. fact i feel like it will spur me onwards even more right i think that would be my initial reaction pretty for sure like that's how i feel right now too even if one of the kids came up to me and said you know what like I lied to you about this right and I'd be like wow thank you for sharing let's do this together mm. I think what we're talking also about is is there a difference between orientation and choice or like right. what does it mean to be oriented because people say that some people are born this way mm -hmm. too and that's who they are but then I've also seen many people detransition from being transgender and then they untransition. Mm. I've also seen many people go from like being queer to being gay to being transgender to being a woman to being lesbian. There are no lines. There is just anarchy. <laughs> There's no rule. It's just kind of like choice. Yeah. Yeah. And there, yeah, and there's disagreement among, yeah, of course, even that's the true. LGBTQ community. community. Mm. I like, think that's why it makes it so complicated, too. It is very complicated because mm. I don't know if you've ever seen the diagram of the gender unicorn. Nope. Where you have the gender identity of what you think or what you choose to believe. You have the, the expression, the gender expression of how you act and show the way you are. Sexual orientation. Right. Which is a different side of the whole yes. thing. It, 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 it just goes, it just shows the complexity of, you know, what is gender identity right. or expression. In current brain sex theories, there's no, like, unanimous kind of Yeah, agreed conclusion. upon definition or conclusion. Yes, of on... how that happens. Right. Like, for, for some, they believe that in utero, when your baby is in the womb, there are certain hormones that affects the developing mm. brain that makes the child more prone or more susceptible or more likely predisposed to be, yeah. to be attracted to like, mm. someone over the other. And others argue, say, no, there is no gene or there's nothing like that, nothing in the brain, no, no connection or synapse or part of the brain that indicates that it's not genetic, it's not the biological, but it's more the nurture than the, 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 right. the nurture over the nature. And so they say, you know, it's the family origin, it's the experiences of the child, maybe there's trauma or an absent father, maybe. Mm. Basically, there's, there's a lot of literature on it, but there's no unanimous. Yes, there's no included. answer. Biblically, it's interesting. It kind of encompasses all of it. There is a lot of things biblically. We are not only in the physical world, but we're in a spiritual world as well. Mm. Let's say if one of our kids shared that in the future. Yeah. What would you think of the situation? I mean, it's not really our in our control or in our choice. Like, it's really up to them and their relationship with God that determines how they decide things or realize things or choose things or think a certain way. It It's them. Like, they're a total separate entity from us. So I feel like, I don't know, like, because for us, we believe in a God who did create the world and we believe in a God who designed the world a certain way to function. And we believe in a God who also allows us to sin. Yeah. 
and allows us to be angry and allows us to go into right. like stealing things or yeah. whatever like all of that exists too and we believe in a god who did send his son this is a question about lgbt plus children but it ties in all of our beliefs because yes mm. like foundationally it would really depend on what you're believing that would ultimately outcome how you react in in such circumstance or right. i would have to tell the kids lovingly as a father that yes in the biblical context it's it, the bible doesn't villainize homosexuality i think the easiest way to say it and it might not be necessarily true in all circumstances but right. any kind of sexual union outside of a marriage covenant mm, mm. is sin mm. so heterosexual or homosexual it, 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 like, like it's kind it's, of the same yes it's not like, the bigger eyes. point is what you alluded to like god's design yeah and obeying and trusting that that design is so basically the point is being heterosexual doesn't take you to heaven any more than being homosexual will take you to hell your sexual identity or expression isn't the main factor of salvation in a sense but god does call us to seek out righteousness yeah. and to love god yeah and i think that is included in that to turn away from sin our children were um speaking to us on this mm -hmm. like my main concern wouldn't be oh are you gay or are you not or mm -hmm. are you queer or are you not my concern would be their heart like where yes. is their heart in this circumstance that's perfect and yeah. where are they either moving towards or hoping or like wanting or struggling with like what are these things that they are thinking about yeah and yeah processing along through that there are many christians who who would say that they are oriented right in a certain way a certain yeah. way and they don't necessarily exercise it mm. practice it but they are oriented to be attracted to uh like men attracted to yeah. men or women attracted to women yeah so homosexual attraction is a lot more than just sexual attraction like sexuality encompasses a whole range of needs and i think also like love is love it doesn't have to have anything to do with sex most of the time like I can love my best friend, but that doesn't mean that I want to sleep with her. Or, like, I love my children, but if I do anything sexual with them, that's already incest. Like, that's mm -hmm. criminal. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. People always combine the two together and say, oh, you can love whoever you want. You can sleep with whoever you want. But I think those two things are separate. Right. It's kind of like how gender expression and gender orientation or like sexual orientation or gender like identity is separate like you yes. can't combine love and the feeling of love even love itself is so complex there's so many different kinds of love yes and sex together like right yeah so, so. sexuality and intimacy are not yeah same. combined with yes so like for me too i was confused a lot growing up because i just felt love all the time for everyone mm -hmm. because i just love people but the feeling then, you would actually yeah, feel love. I love them. I want to be like them. I want to be with them all the time. Right. And often, like, I had more girl crushes than male crushes, even though I had a lot of male crushes, too. I just loved everyone because right. I just feel a lot as a person. And you'd be very physical with other girls. Yeah, because I just love them and I think they're pretty. And, yes. like, I just, like, even now still, I'm always like, oh, my gosh, she's so pretty. Like, I'm always fangirling mm -hmm. and, like, girl crushing. But that doesn't mean, like, I want to sleep with them. You right. know what I mean? Even for the male crushes, too, I never really felt a pull to, like, oh, I want to sleep with them. They're so hot. Whatever. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I just feel like sometimes they make it too complicated with all of these definitions. Because yeah. even with all of these definitions, as we mentioned before, there's no definite defining. Like, everything's just a mystery. It's just, I just feel like people are people. Like, I feel like the Western world often tries to define things and diagnose things and, mm -hmm. like, categorize things. But in the Eastern medicine or psychology, like... Like, it's not as compartmentalized yeah. and focused. Yeah. Like, everything is boxed up and... Like, the, they they take a more holistic approach. Eastern even, does. Yeah, Eastern. Yeah. 
like in the Western world, it's like, oh, there's all these definitions like pansexual, asexual, like two trans, yeah, two spirit trans. Spirited, trans, trans. Like, why do we need to categorize things when the most important thing is to see that person in front of us? You know what I mean? Exactly, and that's the main point. I think that's how we would be with our children, or and, and anybody and else, and anyone, everybody yeah, else, everyone. That's the most dangerous attitude to, to have for people who are Christians, and that this is what I hate when I hear this is that when parents say oh thank god that my kids are not like that or thank god that i didn't i'm not like that see the thing is that is the thing is that's so self-righteous because i believe everyone's the same people think oh there's different levels of people and important people or like holy people whatever but what i see is just us and god like that's it exactly we're all the same and like wherever people are lacking in other areas or struggling in other areas other people are struggling in different areas yes and the apostle paul writes that like he doesn't just compartmentalize homosexual sin but he adds it in a list right. of so many other sins yeah and what does jesus say like if you're just mad at anybody you've already committed murder yeah even if you lust at a woman you're already sleeping you've already with committed them. adultery yeah. Even so, he, like, if they're saying, oh, thank God that my children are not like that, or, like, I'm not like that, you basically just sin right there. Like, yeah. yeah. You can't just point your finger and say, that person's child is, is homosexual. But then when your child is... Like, having fits of rage. Having fits of rage. Yeah. Or watching pornography. Or, like, stealing things. Everyone has their struggles, and everyone yes. has their opinions, and everyone has their way of their life and everyone has their own personality we have to realize that we have a lot more in like than we have differences. yeah we shouldn't suddenly be startled and take a right. step back we should just take a step forward and embrace and give a hug mm. and say thank you for sharing mm. build relationships and build those bridges yeah so if one of our kids shared that i would continue to communicate love respect and care mm. and listen yeah and i think another thing that's important that parents often forget is to share ourselves yes too because we're also people and they're also people and of course the degree that you share will depend on the age of the child yes. but according to what they're able to handle and what information they are able to handle at their mental capacities and their yes. emotional capacities we should be wise in that but at the same time we should be able to share and be vulnerable to our children to a certain extent so that they know as well exactly. that we are on the same level as them yes. in humanity ultimately exactly yeah the most foolish thing to to do is to reject your children mm. that is the most you're just leaving them for the wolves then like you're you've, not you've even you've never been a them. parent yeah you've only been parenting your own selfish desires yeah in your whole life because for a child to share with their parent, it takes them a whole bunch of courage and vulnerability. Can you mm. imagine that? And to be mm. rejected. Mm. And people who identify as trans or bi or homosexual, like they already have so many... Experiences of rejection and like, judgment. Many of them can go through depression or anxiety mm. or suicidal ideation. Mm. As Christians, all the more we should be reaching out, mm. not rejecting. So I think like more than... Our children being queer i think the problem or the main important focus would be humanity mm. yeah i'm no different honestly doesn't make me any better anything anything mm. so we hope you found this video interesting please let us know what you think and if mm. you have any additional thoughts you'd like to share and we will see you next time bye mm.